everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far and I'm really excited to let you know what we're doing today. We are going to be making a bird that can pretend to fly. It's going to be kind of like origami, it's going to be kind of like a puppet. You're going to be able to pull some paper and the wings will flap. So I'm really excited. It's pretty simple and you don't really need a lot, just a piece of paper. If you have a colored piece of paper, whatever color you want your bird to be will do. And that's it. So let's go get our supplies and get started. The first thing we're going to do is you're going to take a piece of paper. Now it could be colored or it could be white and you can color it yourself. We're going to take the corner and we're going to fold it up so it's even with this side. We're going to be making ourselves a square. You're going to bring it right up there. Then you're going to crease it. And we're going to cut right along that fold. Now, we're going to take this triangle and we're going to fold it up again. These are the wings of our bird. Now, my fold is a little off, so I'm going to just clean it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. So, there's the start of our bird. Now we're going to take the bottom of this piece of paper and we're going to fold up. So we give ourselves about a half inch and we're going to cut this off. So we have a nice little fold and our bird is going to sit right in there. So you're going to want a little bit at each end. I'm going to cut a little bit off because mine's, I think, a tad bit too long. So now we're going to cut out a circle for the head. And I'm just going to eyeball my circle. But you could trace one. And that's going to go right there. And we could either draw on a beacon eyes or we can put a squiggly eye, or we, if we have a little bit of orange paper, you can go ahead and do that as well. I had a scratch of yellow, so I'm going to use yellow for my beak, and then I'm going to draw on some eyes. Maybe a couple of eyelashes too. Put some glue on the face for the beak. I'm going to glue my wings. So I'm going to put a line there. Put it inside your fold. I'm also going to open up my fold, put a line right there as well. Now I can put glue right there, put my head on. And I'm going to put some slits in my wings as my feathers. You can go as far back in as you'd like. I'm doing both at the same time, both layers. There we go, so you can see they can move. And now we're going to take this red paper and we're going to cut out two lines for legs. So just two rectangles and we're going to be adding these onto the side of our bird. I'm just taking a little bit of glue, running it up, putting this on, flipping it over, and we're going to want to do it at the same spot on this side. Well, I just realized I should put a face on this side too. 
I could either cut out another circle or I can just draw my eye. So at least there's an eye on both sides. So I bent mine a little bit and also do not glue your strips onto the body of the bird. Otherwise you're gonna have a lot harder time with pulling down the wings. So you ready? Now he flies. See it again? And the more you cut in, the prettier I think that looks. So I hope you had fun making your flying bird. I think mine came out so cute. And I want to know how your guys' came out as well. So drop a comment below. Let me know how it went. And remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below with what you'd like to see in the future. And subscribe so you always get notified when I post a new video on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.